This is Brian Intahar, Senior Creative Director at Insomniac Games. Thank you for all of your amazing feedback to our demo at the showcase earlier this year. Marvel Spider-Man 2 is filled with an amazing story and story missions. But today I'm here to provide you with a first look at how the open world experience is evolving and how the game is built to take full advantage of the PlayStation 5. The first thing you'll notice is that our city has nearly doubled in size with the addition of two iconic New York boroughs, Queens and Brooklyn. And we've introduced the web wings, an entirely new mechanic that, when combined with web swinging, allows you to traverse the city in a whole new way and at faster speeds than ever before. Whether it's a neighborhood backdrop of Queens or the fireworks that light up the sky over Coney Island, exploring these areas will feel much different than the towering skyscrapers of Manhattan, while also delivering memorable locales like Peter Parker's old stomping grounds in Midtown High and Miles Morales' current place of learning, Broken Visions Academy. Hey Miles, what's up? Speaking of our heroes, Marvel Spider-Man 2 will introduce the ability to switch between the two wall crawlers in the open world. And thanks to the power of the PlayStation 5, you can make that switch almost instantly. Delivering a bigger city and playing as not one, but two spider heroes were big goals for Marvel Spider-Man 2. But this time around, it was equally important to provide a greater sense of exploration and discovery. As you progress through the main story, a number of new activities and storylines will become available. The majority of those will now be represented by visual cues in the world that grab your attention, such as a flock of Kraven's Talon drones circling a building, a mysterious symbol projected into the sky, or even an unfamiliar spider bot ping emitting from one of the rooftops. Many activities, like the hunter's cloaked blinds that overlook the Big Apple, lead to even greater challenges yet yield worthy rewards and new information about Marvel's greatest hunter, Kraven. Others will lead to a climactic showdown with Marvel villains not yet seen in the Spider-Man universe. The Spider heroes have new AR tech in the lenses of their masks, providing a quick glimpse of activities already discovered or helping locate new ones yet to be revealed. You can always refer to the upgraded Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man app to quickly track nearby areas of interest. The app will also include incoming requests from those who call Marvel's New York home. Some will ask for either spider hero to help, while others, like the students of Brooklyn Visions calling upon Miles, will require you to put on the mask of a specific hero. All these activities, including crimes you stop from the game's various enemy factions, also now feed into the new District Progress system, which even provides more rewards and unlocks our brand new fast travel system. As you can see here, the PlayStation 5 and its SSD means you can move across the city with very little downtime. Finally, the more city you explore and the more activities you complete, the more ways you'll be able to customize your spider hero. This includes mastering additional combat abilities and traversal skills, acquiring improving gadgets, upgrading through the new suit tech system, and of course, unlocking additional spider suits. And we're talking lots and lots of suits. Marvel Spider-Man 2 will feature over 65 suits from the comics, movies, and multiple original designs. And thanks to the all new suit style system, you'll now have more than 200 different ways to outfit your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. On behalf of Insomniac Games, we couldn't be more excited about what this expanded city has to offer and all the new ways you'll experience Marvel's New York. We look forward to seeing you swinging around in Marvel Spider-Man 2 when it launches October 20th, only on PlayStation 5. Yeah!